What's up everybody, welcome to Cooking with Greggy Second Helping. I'm Greg Miller and today I'm making a recipe for you from one of my favorite restaurateurs in the world. Every time I go to Montreal, of course, I go to a place called Joe Beef with Jen. Uh, they put out two cookbooks now. Their first one uh, has a recipe in there called Kale for Hangover. And basically it's a delicious, uh, you wake up, you're a little hungover. Maybe you're not, you just want something bacony and delicious. It's kale, it's bacon, it's onions, it's garlic, it's eggs, it's delicious and it's amazing. So over here in the back, well, first off, of course, the recipe's in the description below. You're used to that. As you can see, I have kale. I've torn it off the stem, torn it into small pieces, and put it there. So you do that, you do that. They want you to chop it roughly, which is what I really did. But now that I'm down to just, you know, one piece, you can easily do it like that if you want. Over here, it's bacon. Four slices that I cut, uh, you know, laid it out longwise and then cut into little columns or whatever. So at the same time, I'm going to come over here. I got a boiling, thi uh, boiling thing of water over there. I'm going to drop the kale in there. Eka, set a timer for 10 minutes. And then in the frying pan, which I already have going on medium high, I'm tossing in the bacon. Nick, what's the bacon do for you? It's everything. It's yeah. everything. Uh, the bacon's gonna go to let's say uh, crispy, and then we're gonna start adding in onions. We're gonna add in some garlic. We're gonna add in some white wine I have over there, fourth of a cup already set to go. And we're just gonna keep our eye on everything, basically. I tell you what, this one saved my life a few times. Obviously, in college, I think. Uh, you get out there and you're like, well, you know, what are you going to do, Nick? You're going to go out there, you're going to have a pizza at the end of the night. You're going to have a crazy burrito at the end of the night. Nowadays, when I wake up and I have had a few too many, you know what I mean? Why not some kale? Why not some bacon? Why not let all that grease get in there and soak it up with some good stuff? I assume kale has some health benefit to me. A lot of it, yeah. Well, I bet if I put it, if, what about when I dunk it in bacon grease and put wine on it? Net neutral. Net neutral? Yeah. Okay, well, as long as I'm still, you know, not, you know, having a good time out there. It's still helping me in some respect. Now, Nick, I'll tell you what. Yep. As I always say, what do I say about cooking, Nick? It's really hard and you should stay away from it. No, I say you should, you should do it and it's jazz. You can do whatever you want with it, right? Well, I like my kale crispy. I like still having some of the punch. Not all the punch, right? You boil it to get some of that bitterness out of it. But like they want you always to go 10 full minutes till it's soft. I don't like it to be all limp and gross, right? I think I'm going to have to pull it off here in a second. Because that's what I've done in the past and I've had good results. Again. The bacon, you don't have to worry about. Look at it, browning up all nice over here. Look at all this bacon grease. And the best thing about bacon grease, good for you. It glides everything up, it coats your walls so no the, the things can get you bad. We all saw inner space. Yep, it's like a slip and slide for your inside. Exactly, thank you Nick. Always good to have you on these rides. Hey, happy to be along for the ride my friend. My friend. So yeah, I'm gonna pull off my kale. I don't wanna go too far. You ever say kale and think of Joel McHale? I do now. Little piece of me to go inside of you from now on. I'll cherish it. Cherish the love. Remember that song? Yeah. Great song. Now, is this dish traditionally served warm or do you serve it cold? It's all warm. Oh, it's gonna be warm. Okay. Because what's gonna happen is everything's going back in here. Ah. So I'm doing this, but then it's going back in there. Then we're gonna set that aside, fry the eggs in here. We go to Flavor Town. Yeah, you like where you like where that's happening, right? Look at your face over there. Now you can see right here these bacon getting crispy. Who likes crispy bacon? I do. Me and Kevin do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's about that's about good. What I'm gonna do here now is uh, go over there and toss in the onion. Romeo and Juliet. Oh, hey, Eka, cancel the timer. You want to go, this is another one too, where they're like, I think they want three minutes on the onions until they're translucent. It'll go faster. All this bacon grease. They're a Canadian up there where they were with the recipe. So down here, everything cooks faster and better and more freedom. All right, so my bacon onion mixture looking on point. The bacon even crispier, the onions looking translucent enough. I mean, again, it's America. I'm going to go lower it to medium low. Come over here and put in my garlic now. Of course, all these proportions in the description below. You can get the Joe Beef Cookbook, both of them now, online. Buy it off Amazon like I did. Totally worth it. If you're ever in Montreal, try to book your reservation way in advance because it takes a long time to get one, but it's worth it. Totally awesome. Nick, when are we going to Montreal? That's the big million dollar question, my friend. Right? You and I have been to Vancouver together. Yeah. Uh, we had a lovely couple evenings in Toronto. Right. Uh, now it's just time to visit that place neither of us have been. Montreal. Montreal. Great White Buffalo. Great White Buffalo. Spring break. <laughs> All right, this mixture's good. Garlic's sweating. There's grease everywhere just the way you want it, because grease is the word. Uh, we're gonna drop in now our kale. 
Please call it by its full name. Joel McHale. Senator M Dog Kale the Third. Senator McHale? What did you want me to say? What is this for? No, funny? you nailed it. I'm putting the wine in too, it. and I'm gonna put some salt and pepper in there. Again, it's greasy. It's kind of healthy, I guess, according to Nick. Nick, is it still healthy? You know. You've heard it both ways? <laughs> and you can see it all just getting in there. Look at the bright greens you got going. Them beautiful browns. Now, I used dinosaur kale here because my wife said, don't buy more kale. We have dinosaur kale. And I'm not happy with my results here. Usually, I have a way more bountiful plate of kale and bacon. This is enough for one person, I think. I'm not gonna, I would never serve this for two people. You know what I mean? So think about it that way. Don't listen to your wife by the giant finger kale. General rule, just. Don't listen to your wife? Never listen to your wife. Perfect. Yeah. All right. So what I'm gonna do here is crank it up a little bit. I brought down the heat. I'm not happy with my results. I want it up a little bit hotter. I want a little bit pop, piping hot. Then I'm gonna pour off some of my uh, grease and water mixture here to dry it out a second. Mm -hmm. Now it's starting to look what I want. Now we're getting there. Now we're seeing some congealing, some mixture of goodness, Nick. <gasps> Kevin's excited. Hurrah. See, what I think of it sometimes as, Nick, is like an egg scramble, but the kale is the egg. Yeah. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Where it's like, I mean, we're still putting an egg in there, obviously. We're gonna fry this egg, put it on top of it. So the but kale is the egg, but the egg also the it's egg. It's like the cheese. Yeah. You understand? What is the bacon in this? The bacon's still the bacon. I think okay. in a regular traditional scramble, right, you'd do that. You'd have that in there. Uh, real quick, gonna put some lemon juice on there as well. What? Huh? For real? Yeah. <laughs> why, is, why is that the outrageous thing, Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy, Greg. With the lemon. He's right, I am. There we go. I'm just gonna do the egg. So this is kale for a hangover. Of course, it's all the kale. Right in there with the bacon grease. Right in there with the onion. Right in there uh, with the garlic. Uh, as you can see, I, the egg got fried perfectly. I like my yolks runny. Nick, you like your, your yolks runny? I do. Then Not I too fast though, I, got, I like to be able to catch them. <laughs> I see what you did there, you son of a bee. And then there you go. Like I want the garnish of it, I still want the greens. Obviously you lose some of the green by cooking the kale. Bring back that uh, parsley, have it look good. That is a perfect way to cure a long night out. All right, so here we go. Let's see how it tastes. You, of course my yolk there, crack that bad boy like that. Oh yeah, I get that everywhere. You want that, right? That's what you want. You want that yolk Let's everywhere. Like that. Oh my God. Nick, do you like egg yolk? I do. Do you eat it like this? Does it turn you on? No, but I mean, do you like egg yolk? I could get I into like it. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Here's the thing. I think watching it, you said it's a gross dish. Okay, so everybody shaking their head no. No, they are not grossed out by the kale being tossed into the bacon, tossed into the garlic. And that's the thing is I think I don't know, a different Greg might not have wanted to eat it back in the day. And I do think, again, use the, don't listen to your wife. Use a whole bunch of kale. This is a plate for one person. That's, a, a, that's crazy. I can get two people out of it, usually. Um, it's great, though. And I can only imagine uh, how you know, it's so great. But, Kevin, come here. I want you to try it, big Kevin dog. All right? Come in. Slide down in there, all right? Because what did you think of this when I started pitching it? You, you, got, you didn't like the lemon I even went with. Yeah, that freaked me out. The lemon. Why'd that freak you out? Yeah, why are you feeding me? I think I can do it myself. I don't know if you can. Mmm. Okay. <laughs> 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 Sensual. Right? And imagine if you were hung over in the morning. You can see where the bacon grease, the kale, all that stuff would congeal inside yeah. you, make you feel better. You could run a mile, I'm sure. It'd be perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, this is kale for a hangover, and I think you'll like it. Please try it out. Again, a simple one, an easy one. Impress anybody you wake up with. 
like I just woke up with Kevin. Uh, let us know in the comments below what you think of the recipe. When you do it, please go over to Instagram, use hashtag cookingwithgreggy. Let me see how your creation came out. Don't listen to your wife. Buy all the kale you want. No, don't rely on the blue apron uh, kale you had left over. Until next time, it's been our pleasure to serve you. It's good kale, though. Uh, it's great kale. I just usually have more. <laughs>